The Chattanooga women's basketball team has really hit their stride as of late. Winners of their last three, they entered Thursday night in a tie for first place in the SoCon with Wofford and a date with the Terriers waiting on them on Saturday. But first, they had to go through Furman tonight, though. And it was Breast Cancer Awareness Night at the Roundhouse. The Mocs in some special gray and pink jerseys as they host the Dins for a Thursday night conference game. Chattanooga Red Hot out the gate on a 10-1 run. Raven Thompson, the nice little slip pass down low to Abby Cornelius, who draws some contact, gets it to go. Second quarter, Furman showing a little pep in their step. Sydney Ryan off the glass, and the Dins making an eight-point game. Nice little night for Carson Murphy off the bench. I mean, take a look at this. The step back jumper is cash money for Montana Murphy. Mox back in front by double digits. Now Thompson usually gets the bulk of her points in the paint, but our girl was knocking them down from beyond the arc. Mox by 13 at the break. This wouldn't be a Mox women's game without a little Yaz in the background. Background, more like center stage. Yes, yeah, with 23 tonight, Chattanooga leads wire to wire and wins this one 70 to 63 for their fourth in a row. Sports border Samantha Casano was courtside tonight and has more from McKenzie Arena. From a team that won seven total games last year to a team that just won their eighth conference game of the season, the Chattanooga Mocs sure seem to have found their footing. On Thursday, the team notched their fourth consecutive win and sit alone in first place in the SoCon standings. With the SoCon tournament in Asheville, North Carolina just two weeks away, the team has found the perfect moment to get hot. Well, it's what we've been talking about since the day I stepped foot on campus. Um, now, with that said, we thought if our kids bought into a culture, we could get to that. You know, that's what we're fighting for. And to have that sitting right in our hands, um, we control our own destiny is a fun thing. Um, and some coaches are scared to talk about it. I'm not. It's very important. We found our groove. We're playing with a lot of confidence, everybody. And it's just important to stay on this and don't go backwards. So it's very important to stay on track. Regarding the confidence level of his team right now, head coach Sean Poppy said it's not just about starting to believe, we already do. The ladies have one last home game here at McKenzie Arena on Saturday. They will host Wofford as part of senior night. Tip-off is set for 7 o'clock. At McKenzie Arena, Smith Xeno, Local 3 Sports.